Good evening, everyone. So it's been a long day. I went to the office. I went to the gym, and when I got home, my daughter had hit her head. So she was really sad, crying, and yeah, she just fell asleep or a few minutes ago. And I was not gonna do anything today, but then I thought I need to keep my mind on other things. So I'm just gonna read this next chapter for all the safe moon rednecks brainwashed hillbillies out there. Okay, let's start. V, safe moon roll, uh, 68. In the beginning of 2021, Nagy recruited Smith for a new project, and together they created the Safe Moon token. Around that time, Nagy and Smith met with Caroni and Haynes Davies to discuss a partnership regarding the sale of Safe Moon tokens. Pursuant to that agreement, Nagy and Smith would work as the developers of the Safe Moon token, while Caroni and Haynes Davies. Oh, I'm really tired. Sorry, Haynes Davies would operate as the company's management and marketing team, while Caroni, Haynes, Davis, and Smith would publicly tout to the Safemoon tokens. Nagy, the creator, opted to keep his identity a secret, using the al alias Safemoon Dev. By around March 2021, the core group of Nagy, Smith, Caroni, and Haynes, Davis had expanded to include defendants Wyatt and Vitriol. 69. SafeMoon described itself as a human-focused technology and innovation business, expanding blockchain technologies for a brighter tomorrow. In purports purpose, 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 to build blockchain commerce, metaverse and NFT products to derive new kinds of value from crypto technology and to apply it to increasingly better use. As of early March 2022, SafeMoon has two products. The first is a wallet called the SafeMoon Wallet, which provides a secure place to store and trade your SafeMoon. The second is the SafeMoon protocol contract. SafeMoon website indicate that SafeMoon plans to launch two additional products in the future, a hardware cold wallet for sa safely storing and using your crypto and an exchange, where were we? exchange that will bring tokenomics to all of crypto on its platform. The SafeMoon protocol contract is the software on which the SafeMoon token runs. SafeMoon is responsibly, responsible for writing, maintaining, modifying and implementing that software. For example, in May 2021, Certic performed an audit of the software in response to certain critiques and flaws identified by the audit auditors, SafeMoon indicated the extent to which it would modify code and make other changes to address those critics and flaws, thereby demonstrating its control over that software. In addition, in December 2021, SafeMoon launched an updated protocol for a second version of the SafeMoon tokens, or the V2. For example, in the updated version, version SafeMoon changed the allocation of the 10% tax. Under V2, reflections are reduced to 4% and the amount distributed to liquidity pools is reduced to 3%. Did everybody knows, know that? Okay. The remaining 3% are allocated between tokens that are burned, 2%, and tokens that are allocated to SafeMoon growth fund 1%. <coughs> Sorry for that. The growth fund is uh, used to cover safe moves. Costs including development for future technology or server expansion on the up and coming safe moon exchange. 
No, that sounds good, right? But is it? Okay, one moment here. I just have to check my phone. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Okay, never mind. Uh, here, Safephone is also responsible. Safephone is also responsible for marketing Safephone tokens, which it does re relentlessly on social media. Safemoon stated on its Instagram account on April 4th that its marketing campaign had begun. Indeed, on Coindesk, as Coindesk notes, Safephone is shilled endlessly on Twitter. Safephone has explained on Twitter that it has a small, dedicated marketing team. In addition to marketing SafeMoon tokens and developing and launching its product, SafeMoon is also responsible for securing exchange listings. <coughs> oh, I'm really drying my throat too. Okay, and thus markets for SafeMoon tokens. For example, on March 17, Caroni noted that they had talked with WhiteBit. I never heard of WhiteBit. Okay, an exchange. On April 2nd, Corona announced on via Twitter that SafeMoon's team had begun been working our asses off for the SafeMoon community day and night, and that he was glad to finally be able to share the good news regarding Whitebit at Whitebit 6 and Bit Mark Exchange listings. <coughs> <clears throat> On April 5th, Caroni tweeted Binance next. Yeah, right, like they're gonna do it. They're too smart. <laughs> I'm giving the safe moon community 120% of my energy until we hit the moon and I'll never stop. And I guess all the safe moon rednecks believes that, right? Let me hear you write something crazy in the comments. Like, oh, stop fudding, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. So, yeah, okay. Number three, defendants solicited sales of SafeMoon tokens. Defendants, okay, we'll read this one in the next video, okay? I'm gonna upload this one first. Until next time, see you later.